Welcome back to the Tactical Living Podcast. I'm your host, Ashley Walton. If you've listened to this show for any extended period of time, you know that I am an early bird. I wake up at 3 a.m. every day. I always tell people that my time to shine is 3 a.m. until 11 a.m. And anything outside of that window, I am probably not going to want to look at until the next day if it is of any importance. And I'm sharing this because it is so beautiful outside. I can hear the birds chirping outside of the studio, and it's it's just such an awesome Sunday today. Um, all of these episodes, of course, are always pre-recorded. And yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because I hope that whether you're driving to work or you're at home or wherever you are, that you just stop and you notice whatever is beautiful in this day and around you right now. And in today's episode, I wanted to share a little bit about first times and new experiences. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy today's content. I've been working with this incredible Marine outside of Las Vegas, and she and I have cultivated this team of coaches And the whole purpose of bringing these coaches together is to lead a platform surrounded around first times and new experiences. And when I first met, her name is Anne, I I never really gave much thought to cultivating and building myself up by allowing myself to experience things for the first time. And even more so, after I had met with Anne, and I discovered this concept, I started to recognize any time that I did do something for the first time. I laugh because Clint and I are getting this huge room addition done at our house, and online she always poses the question once a week of what was the first time or new experience that you had this week? And for me, it was actually using a nail gun, which is funny because being the daughter of a contractor, I think I've used every tool there is except for a nail gun. And of course, I've never built a house before, but it's not uncommon for me to go out there and to get dirty with the crew whenever they're working. And a project like this at my house, (laughs) being a little bit of a control freak, I want to be immersed in it as much as I can anytime that I'm home and anytime that I'm not with clients. And I think that by recognizing that, it's important because now the next time I go to use a nail gun, I can do it on my own. I know how to do it. I actually know how to load the nails because in the midst of me using the nail gun for the first time, it ran out. And I think by us allowing ourselves to do something deliberately as a first time, it gets us out of our comfort zones. It creates these new neural pathways that allow us to get out of the nuance of our everyday routine. Why is that important? Well, chances are that nail gun I'll feel a lot more comfortable with when I go to build something for the first time. I actually have this desire now to build something. Clint and I have had some visitors a few months ago when my dad started to pull down everything to start the remodel. He exposed a piece of our attic and we had these huge barn owls apparently lay eggs up there because now we have little baby owls and it drives me crazy that they're in an area that I can't just peek in and look at, but we hear them. They're about seven or eight weeks old now. Anytime they should be flying the coop and I hope that I am there to be able to see it when it happens. My guess is that there's at least four or five baby owls up there. And I'm sharing that because We've had to call Animal Control, who says they won't take care of something like that. So Clint had to call Fish and Game, who, I mean, maybe they're not even working right now. Who knows? But they never called us back. So it it looks like if the workers need to start to tear down the roof, it might be us that needs to do something with these owls. So I've been doing a lot of studying and reading. And it's not good, not healthy for us to transplant these owls when they're so young. Chances are the mom and dad won't stick around if we do that. And it got me thinking about never wanting something like this to happen again. So I started thinking about maybe building, instead of a birdhouse, like a huge owl house. How cool would that be? I want the owls to be around my home because it helps keep down the rats and the mice and any other things that I don't want, especially in comparison to these beautiful, majestic owls. 
But in doing that, it makes me want to do it even more, knowing that I'm not going to have to swing around a hammer and do it. I can use a nail gun. I could borrow my dad's. Maybe I'll buy one for myself. And that's just one example of how doing one simple thing outside of my comfort zone has led to me wanting to do one more thing even further outside of my comfort zone. First times and new experiences allow us to not be so confined and to be more expressive and curious. How amazing was it when you were a child and you used to wonder about everything and you used to allow your curiosity to grow so wild that you would sleep and that curiosity would continue. And yet we become older we become, uh, become adults, responsibilities start to kick in, and we get so caught up in all of the things that we have to do that we stop thinking about the things that we get to do or the things that we want to do. What could you do? In saying this, and you listening to this right now, what is something that you can think of that's top of mind for you to be able to do for a first time or a new experience? And many times we think this has to be something costly. I literally went out into my backyard and grabbed a nail gun from a man and said, hey, let me do that instead. Didn't cost me anything. Well, apart from the remodel, of course. (laughs) But there are things inside of our own homes that we can use, things that we've never done before. I have a sewing machine inside of a box, admittedly that I purchased about five years ago that I've never even opened. What about you? What do you have in your kitchen? What do you have in the garage? What do your kids have? What toys do your kids have that you've never played with before? What about outside? What are some of the things that you've always thought, one day I'll do this? Why not do it now? Now more than any other time is is the best time to be able to do it with so many people being home. And I think it's so amazing because not only are there the tangible things in person, but now we have things remotely, even more so than we had over three months ago. Another first time a new experience that I had, and this is a little embarrassing, was I had a friend and he actually brought on two different artists and they put on a live remote concert for all the first responders. And so I actually started a watch party and I streamed it live inside of my group yesterday. And I was able to watch this concert inside of my group and interact with my group and this incredible tribe of people that we have while we all listen to music. Someone was excited that he was able to just stay home and drink a beer and listen to the concert instead of having to go out. It's fun to do new things like that. Now I can't wait for amazing content to come out where I can stream it again inside of our group. And I'm just going to leave it on this note of how important it is for you to start to think of the last new time or the last time that you did something new for the first time. And also consider what is it that you can do going forward. Test yourself. One week, what can you do as a first time or new experience in the week to come? And I'll challenge you to that. If you're open to it, send me a message on Facebook, Ashley Walton, A-S-H-L-I-E, and let me know what you decided to do. There's no better gift that we can give to ourselves than the power of growth. And there's no easier way for us to start to grow than by doing something new for the first time as often as we can.